How you doing guys? This is Joe with LBV. These are one of the days that you get to work in a beautiful scenic area. <clears throat> so we can turn around and work on this. <laughs> anyway, so you see this right here? It's that little sputter. Alright, so we got a leak. Now it's aluminum. So we're gonna have to <clears throat> clean it up and uh, use an aluminum flux and aluminum uh, raising rod to hopefully get this uh, this little leak in control right here. You see it right there? Right there. See it's sputtering. So we're gonna clean it up, clean it up nice, and then hit it with really lightly with uh, <coughs> with some. Uh, I'm not gonna hit it with my turbo torch. I'm gonna hit it with my map gas. It's not as uh, it's not as hot. If you do it too hot, the whole thing can collapse, and you're screwed. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna do our best right here. All right. When we get set up, we'll get you some more picks. All right, guys. We're gonna do our best to braise. We have our heat blanket right over here, so we don't burn everything. <clears throat> Let's see what we can do here. Okay, so let me show you what I was using. This rod here is an aluminum braze rod with flux inserted in the middle of it. This is the <coughs> this is the brand Lucas, and it's AL822. <coughs> okay, it's very difficult to do. You know, you got to be real easy on the uh, on the heat. Let's hope that uh, let's hope that I got that little hole there. I'm going to let it cool down just a little bit. I'm going to throw a little nitro. See if there's any leaks. Hopefully not. And we can save this unit. <coughs> at least another season or two. Before we train, uh, before we trade out this train for something else. Alright. <coughs> I'll, uh, I'll give you a couple of shots of, uh, of the nitro spot, uh, aspect. Alright. Alright guys. So I had a coffin fit just before. That's why I was coughing in between the video. Uh, all right, so listen, we have, let's see how much PSI we got here. I'm not sure you guys will see that. 208, 205, and here is the braised, where is it, right there, right there is that braised little nugget. So we're gonna put a little bit of the blue stuff on there. All over. Come on, Can you focus. Let's get that to focus right there. And it looks like there's no uh, no bubbles coming out. So we might have gotten lucky today. See that? All right, 
and the customer will be happy about that. So it's holding 200 PSI right now. This is an R22 unit that we're putting 407C in and it works fine. For anyone that says it doesn't work fine, 407C. Anyway, so getting back to it, aluminum. You can go from copper to aluminum with that stuff. Aluminum to aluminum with that stuff. I believe 800 is where the uh, where it starts to, I guess, solidify and then liquefy at 900. So it's a little difficult to work with though. It kind of runs off and beads off, so you kind of have to glob it and get it get it right. So, all right, no uh, no bubbles, guys. It's a great thing. All right, now we're just gonna put the vacuum pump on for a bit and uh, recharge this, this massive beast over here. All right, I'll give you a shot when it's up and running. All right, guys, so we're using our Platinum JV pump, okay, with the uh, extra large hoses. I normally use a two hose system where I got one hose here, one hose there, and I take the shredders out <clears throat> and put uh, and I put the uh, you know the the T's there with the micro gauge at the top. Uh, but there's no charge in here, and I don't like to uh, I don't like to vacuum and then have to you know put put the um, uh, put the shredders back in and possibly get some air back in. So uh, what I'm doing today is I'm just using the the platinum with the two stage. 7 CFM, great pump by the way, and uh, I'm just using it right to my uh, gauge set. So we're just gonna, it might take a little bit longer, but we'll uh, we'll get the vacuum down, and then we'll charge it up and, and get it all uh, get all up and running. All right, you see right there, that's that weld area I was using before. So we'll get this thing down. And I'll get you some shots when we're charging her up. All right, guys. So we're down to 900 microns. We're gonna let it get down to about 500 because that's the industry standard. And then we're gonna uh, charge us up <coughs> and uh, get on our way. Okay. So 500 is the standard. We'll get it down there. Like I said, it's going a little slow just because I didn't do it the, you know, the the two hose method. But uh, it'll get down there. All right, and uh, we'll charge her up, get it going. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember, brazing aluminum, you have to have an alu aluminum brazing, all right? Make sure it's at AL822. All right, pick it up at the uh, Johnstone or whatever supply house you guys have. And, uh, cause that one's good. It's got the uh, aluminum, but then it's encased, the inside of it is the flux. So, uh, don't use your turbo torch to settle in. If you do, go really far back on it so the heat doesn't just collapse that aluminum. All right, so take it nice and easy. Enjoy the uh, summer, guys. See you guys next time.